Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Sarah and I am the mom of a 14 month old named George. And today we're going to be going to the thrift store and I'm giving you some ideas on what you could be looking for. We're going on a shopping trip, shopping trip, shopping trip. We're going on a shopping trip. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You do not have to be rich to do Montessori. It's more about the mindset. It's about how you interact with each other at home and it's about how you set up your home. So the extra stuff really isn't something that you super need, but of course it is part of it. So the way that I've got around this is I like to go to the thrift store a lot. All right, Georgie, ready to go? First thing, I know in the front hall area or in the bedroom area, wherever they get dressed, it's great to have a place for them to sit. Right now, I just have a plastic step stool that he sits on, but something like this would be beautiful if we had the space. Also got a cute little compartment that you could keep like, I don't know, like mitts and hats in or like what have you, but it's wooden and it's, I don't know, it's beautiful. I couldn't find a price on this one, but it is an option that was there. He's so cute. He loved this pillow. <laughs> another shelf type thing with Montessori like it doesn't have to be that exact Ikea shelf and it doesn't have to be like you know a $300 wooden shelf either it can be a coffee table it can be the bottom of a bookshelf as long as it's a space that you've cleared off that you can put a couple of materials on or a couple of toys then that is the Montessori way <laughs> that's a funny pillow isn't it Ah uh, yes, so now we get into the wood decor section. Uh, there wasn't a ton today. Sometimes you'll hit it and there's like so many awesome things and sometimes not so much. This section I find is all about the imagination. I think, what could I use this for? This is the creative part that I really enjoy. If you haven't caught on yet, Montessorians love wood. They have an emphasis on natural materials and wood especially seems to be popular. So really anything that is wooden, my eye is gonna go straight to it. This was in the planter section, but a cute little Winnie the Pooh wooden type box thing that I could definitely do some stuff with. There's so many things that I would buy if I just had the room. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing that I don't have the room. <laughs> One really popular Montessori activity is flower arranging. It sounds kind of old school and kind of out of the box, but actually they can learn a lot of skills from flower arranging and it really helps to spark their creativity. So what I plan on doing this summer is actually starting some flower arranging with George. It's a little easier in the summer clearly because we can go for walks and we can collect some flowers and a thrift shop is the perfect place to find these. They always have tons of tiny little vases and they're always super cheap. So, I mean, take your pick. There's so so many. Talking about natural materials, Montessorians tend to give their children glassware to eat and drink from. I found these tiny little sort of mason jar type cup things and I mean like just look at how much they have here. Like you're bound to find some and it's always changing which makes it kind of fun. Same with plates and bowls, especially because they are young and learning you're going to most likely break a couple so the fact that they're cheap makes you feel a little less bad about it. Another really popular activity with the little ones is to teaching them how to pour. So I have a ceramic little jug all ready to go for George to start pouring from. Any day now I'm gonna get brave enough to let him try it. This is where I got it. And how you would set this up, you would put it on a tray with a little bit of water in it, as much as you're willing to let them spill. Or you could do dry pouring with them if you wanted to. So put beans or rice and another little container that they could practice pouring into. You like that one? Just like our tea set at home. We should take that one. I think we should take that one. That's a yes. If you follow me on Insta, you've seen that George and I have lately started to do tea time. I put out a little teapot with tea that's not too hot or anything in it and pretty watered down and caffeine free. But the teapots that I have all are breakable at the moment. So I found this little metal one here and that would be perfect for him to learn how to pour the tea at our tea time. So it's $3.99 and he immediately seemed to be intrigued by it. So I was like, yeah, why not throw it in? Right now I serve our tea on a wooden cutting board, which works, but I saw this little silver tray and I just couldn't not. It just reminds me of like, I don't know, a fairy tale or something. It just made it look extra fancy with the little details around the edges. So for $3.99, I had to throw that one in there too. It matches. I think he likes it. Maybe we should take this one home. 
Yeah, I like it too. Next what I found was this decently sized mirror with a wood frame around it. So of course the wood would go well in a Montessori decor. But also Montessorians tend to put mirrors around their children as much as they can. They believe that children seeing their own bodies and how they move right from the newborn stage. If you can put a mirror by your baby, they say it's really great to develop all kinds of things. And there we found one for pretty cheap. And it's cute. And I like the size. <laughs> He's still playing with that teapot. Definitely, I think, a good pickup. Anyways, look at the selection of books. Oh my gosh, I am a sucker for books. I just can't help myself. So the library is really great for me, but I always get caught in the thrift stores in the book section and at winners at the book section. They're just a book at a good deal. I just can't help myself. Montessorians do believe that realistic pictures in books is the best way to go. I talked about this in my last video. I'm not 100% sold on only realistic realistic books, but I do tend to veer towards them if I can find them. Now, realistic pictures in books for children is tough to find. You can usually find one or two, but you gotta do some digging, and I did manage to find a handful in here too. Even these ones, which are a couple of French books, which I found pretty neat. Oh, it's so hard not to buy all the books, especially when I'm looking for specific ones, like with the real pictures, and then they have them. But I always have to remind myself that there is the library, and the library is fantastic and I have nowhere to put these books. Small space, minimalist, trying to keep it in mind, but it's so hard. Books are a huge weak spot for me. <laughs> then we found this one. George has two touch and feel animal books and he's loved them forever. So on top of that, this one had a puppy on the front of it. He has a thing with dogs. We don't have a dog or have ever really been around a dog for a, an extended period of time. But every time we see a dog, he will always woof. Picture of a dog. Sometimes he even thinks things are dogs that aren't like a cow or something and he'll start woofing. If someone says the word dog, he'll start woofing. So it's like an ongoing thing. It was over. I had to, I just had to get it. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd like this one. We finally make it to the back of the store, which is where all the kid stuff is. Look, we haven't even made it to this kids section yet and look at all of the Montessorian type things that we have found so far on the way to the back kids section. It's crazy. I love thrifting for this. But I mean, look at this toy selection. It is outrageous. There are so many toys. Mind you, a lot of it is just cheapy plastic stuff, but amongst this cheapy plastic stuff, there's always a few treasures. And the other thing that I am sort of constantly on the lookout for these days, because right now it's February, so I know spring is coming, is rain boots. We haven't gotten George a pair of rain boots yet because he only started walking this winter. So Montessorians really try to get their kids to dress themselves early to help them to feel independent and confident. So so getting him to put on his own boots is something that we will be working on come spring. The winter boots, it's just a little bit tough and he's just a little bit young. My plan is for spring, when we get him rain boots, it's gonna be a lot easier because his feet will slip in and out much easier. And also a lot of kids' boots come with these little handle things. He'll be able to take the handles and get the boots on a little bit easier. So I am right now looking for a pair of rain boots with handles, sort of always on the lookout for those. And there was a couple of different ones in here that I found, which were great but none of them were my size and I also already have a rain jacket for him so I wanted to like color coordinate so I'm being a little picky with these rain boots but yes you can find them at the thrift store. The thing about wooden toys is that they are well made and natural materials stand the test of time typically. There's definitely some good finds in here. Some are more worn than others um, but there's a little bit of a selection which is great. Pole toys, wooden pole toys, these are cute. I mean the beaver that's so cute how Canadian. Pole toys are great for the trajectory schema. I'm gonna be making a video about schemas in the near future so stay tuned for that but basically it's different sort of categories of play that kids get a little bit obsessed with and trajectory schema is when kids get obsessed with things that move so like roll or fall or fly so pull toys are really great when they're in that schema when they're seeming to to need that outlet and the other thing about thrifting you know I'm not gonna lie okay I was definitely a snob for thrifting in my earlier years I thought you know uh, secondhand blah blah blah. I had like, it had like connotations to me, right? 
but my mind's opened up to the idea of it all. And one of the things that gets me, if you think about it, is sustainability and saving what's left of this planet for George and his generation and generations to come is just so pivotal that we all do our part. And thrifting's a great way to lessen your carbon footprint, if you will. There's so much good stuff. It's life's not done yet. It reminds me of Toy Story the movie, you know? They can go to another new home and they'll get another life of love and I don't know it's just I look at it very differently now that's for sure these bags are so great I've gotten pretty lucky with these little bags usually you can get sets of things and like loose parts small parts and things like that so you never know what you're gonna find with these bags it look they look really bad but if you actually look what's inside the bags sometimes you'll find some goodies oh my gosh this train is so beautiful. It is in like next to perfect condition. It's huge. It's it's just so nice. I wanted to get it so bad. It's 20 bucks though. And uh, I don't need it. I don't need it. But man, is that ever a nice train. Ugh, sitting here, I'm still thinking about like, man, maybe I should go back for it. Oh, it's so nice. Anyway. Good find. It'll be a good find for somebody. I love that 20 bucks is expensive. It's all relative, right? All right, time to check out, bunny. And right when we were lining up, I spotted these two salt lamps. If you haven't seen my shared nursery tour, I have a salt lamp in our nursery and I really like it because of the ions that it emits. It's really good for your emotional health and to actually counteract against technology, which of course we have a ton of around us. But yeah, one with a dimmer is great for having a new baby if you're going in and out and nursing and things like that, just to keep the room nice and chill and dim and calm. And then the added benefits on top of that, I definitely recommend the salt lamp for a nursery. So I did spot these two and they both had dimmer as well. All right, George, I think we did all right. 1069. I'm gonna put this in my got a book. Got a little tea set for our tea time. Put it in a backpack and we're ready to go.